Well, Kings Live in Punjab or Punjab Kings, as it's called now. This recipe is specially dedicated to them, and this one is Amrit Sari Jhinga. Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Varun Namdar, and welcome to Indian Culinary League. Let's begin. Amritsari jhinga is basically like a pakoda. It's literally like a fritter or an Indian tempura. The base is very simple. In fact, the recipe is very simple. It begins with besan or gram flour. This is unroasted. From a nice crisp layer, I'm going to add in cornstarch, also known as corn flour, just to ensure that all of this clings onto the prawn and does not kind of separate while frying. I'm adding in refined flour. To this, let's start adding in a few flavorings. Beginning with paste of ginger and garlic. Now some people also like adding in only garlic, but I leave the choice completely to you. Now Amritsari Jhinga is absolutely incomplete without this one spice and that is Ajwain or carom seeds. A little more actually and that'll do no harm. To this I'm also adding in a little bit of turmeric powder. A touch of garam masala. If it's your Punjabi home ground garam masala, then you're absolutely in for a winner of a recipe. A little bit of hing, and this is primarily as a digestive in this recipe. To this, I'm going to add in one of the most important ingredients of an Amritsari machi or Amritsari jhinga, and that is amchur. Well, amchur for the uninitiated is nothing but powdered raw mango. Remember that. And for that nice color and no spice really, I'm adding in Kashmiri red chilli powder. Just a little bit of water. Not too much because prawn will also have that little amount of moisture or water and that will help to kind of make the masala or the marinade absolutely nice and clingy. Last but not the least, salt as required. Mix all of this well till this entire mixture is nice and pasty and only if you want to add in some water of course, by all means do that, but do not get too adventurous. Ensure that you break all the lumps of the gram flour especially. And while you're mixing, like I said, just a little more of water to make sure the batter nicely clings onto the prawns. Well, the batter is done and ready. Now, if you see, the batter is literally of dropping consistency. It's not runny, it's not liquidy. And that's how we want it because like I said, we want it to kind of envelope. Now, prawns in this case, generally, actually 100% always are shelled, which means they are without the shell and the vein is removed, very importantly. Let's add this to the batter. Well, this is that one recipe which across the streets is also sold by the kilo. And that makes it very interesting. So the prawns or the fish in this case, they're weighed before frying and then it is served along with some onions, with some chutney, sprinkled generously with some amchur. Well, this is done and ready. Now, in case you're making this recipe for your own restaurants or for your own home kitchens, then you make it to this stage and you refrigerate this. And once you get your orders, then you start frying and of course serving. I'm going to keep this aside for 15 minutes. Let it just kind of begin to marinate and then we move on to frying. It's been 15 minutes and the prawns are wonderfully marinated. At this point in time, allow the oil in the kadhai to heat on high flame because this does not really need a lot of cooking because it's prawn. And prawn is a meat which is very tender. It's literally a protein and it cooks the fastest. So high flame, once that's done, We'll start frying. While the oil is heating up, let me quickly take you down memory lane. A few years back, I showed you different kinds of lassies, actually five types of lassies for the same team. If you don't remember, have a quick look. It's for this guy that I want the same team, this team, Punjab Kings, to win this year. Well, deep down, I still feel Mumbai Indians will rock it. Let's start frying. Let's lower the flame and start frying 
the prawns. But before that, give all of this a good mix so that the batter kind of reclings. Well, at this stage, commercially, colors added, and that's why you see those deep, dark, crimson colored prawns in the market. But this is absolutely home style. Let's start frying. With this, it's important, rather extremely important, to increase the flame and not start stirring because the covering will start releasing and that's not something that you're looking at. In the interim, while this is on high flame, allow me to wash my hands. It's been around four to five minutes, roughly. Let's drain this on an absorbent tissue paper. And with this, your Amrit Sari Jhinga or Prawn Jhinga is done and ready. And this goes amazingly well with some sliced onions and some nice spicy tangy green chutney. With this, off goes the flame. With this, our Amrit Sari Jhinga or Prawn Amrit Sari is done and ready. Enjoy this with your family, enjoy with your friends and have a blast watching IPL this season. On that note, do not forget to stay tuned to Indian Culinary League only on Get Curried. Bye for now.